Hey guys, so um, I'm going to do a series of videos right now for my best of 2023. These aren't necessarily the most valuable snakes that I've produced, but they're my favorites that I've produced in all of 2023. I know it's a little bit late getting out there. Most people do their best of at the end of, of the previous year. Um, you know, it's January 2024 right now, and I've been really busy. Uh, I just set up this new hatchling room. So we moved all of our babies and juveniles into this room here. And you can see, we think we have a total of 17 racks in this room. So it's going to be nice having the babies in here because I can control the temperatures for them, keep them a little bit warmer than the adults and uh, just a, a better environment overall. So we've been really working hard at that. Uh, next project is redoing the main room. We're going to reorganize and kind of uh, set everything up in a way that makes a little bit more sense and it's easier to maintain. So anyway, let's get to these snakes. So these are my favorites from 2023 and let's start off with some albino clown combos. So this one is actually a lavender albino black pastel clown. So he's looking really nice. And um, I don't think he's gonna really get a whole lot of lavender in him. Uh, the black pastel with the lavender just kind of, alarm went off on one of my thermostats. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is a lavender black pastel clown. Now, I put the black pastel in this project in order to keep the contrast. You know, a lot of the albino clowns and lavender clowns, really um, the yellow kind of bleeds into the white and it ends up being a yellow snake. So you can't really see the pattern all that well. Black pastel is gonna do a lot to help with that. And then I'm working on adding other genes like acid, GHI, and some other projects into, and leopard and spot nose into this project as well. So that's the lavender. And then this is a regular albino black pastel clown. Looks really similar, actually. Here's the, the lavender. So pretty similar looking. This one's a little bit lighter. Um, this one was a lot darker when it first hatched as well. But I think that the black pastel in there is really going to help keep that, that pattern looking really nice. Okay. I've got a ton of snakes to show between these three videos that I'm going to do. So I'm going to kind of go through these kind of quick, but at least to get a good look at them. Okay, this is probably my favorite that I produced. This is an Enchi Leopard Toffino Clown. So really, really deep or, or yellows, a little bit of oranges in there, kind of some, some pinks in the pattern. Really, really nice. So I produced Leopard uh, Toffino Clowns in the past, and actually I've got a breeder male of those right now that I hatched in 2022. And this guy has a lot more intense color. The yellows are just so much deeper and brighter. Okay. So now we're gonna switch gears and go into some pies. Okay, this is my, the first pied. This is a GHI Bongo Clown. So the, um, you know, real dark head, a lot of nice rich browns in there. I think that this, there's a lot that can be done with this. Um, this is kind of a stepping stone into some other projects. Um, I wanna see what Orange Dream and Yellow Belly look like with this. Um, see if I can bring out those really rich colors even more. So he's getting some pretty good size on him. He'll be, be breeding, you know, probably probably won't breed him until 2025, but, um, but you know, I'd like to also get some more darker jeans in here too, like black pastel and mahogany. You know, I'm just trying to mix all these dark jeans into one pie to see how dark I can actually get them. Okay, my next one here, pretty much the opposite as far as colors go. This is an orange dream firefly clown pie. Not a whole lot that needs to be said about him other than, or she, her actually, other than she's really awesome. Really, really bright colors. And this one also may have yellow belly in it as well. I'm a little, having a little bit of a hard time. I, I think it's got yellow belly because you can see the, the jaggedy pattern. It kind of just drips down the side of the snake. That's usually a sign of yellow belly, but um, I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay. 
then I've got a couple of desert goat hides. This is a lemon blast desert ghost pied, and this is a, just a pastel desert ghost pied. And I know like desert ghost pieds, yeah, there's quite a few of them out there, including ones with pastel and pinstripe in them. But these are just two snakes that I really, really like the looks of a lot, especially this one. This this one is probably my favorite desert ghost pie that I've produced all year. I just love how bright yellow her colors are um, and how nice and high contrast the blacks are in her. I just really like her a lot. Okay, and the last one for this video. This is one of my favorite pides of the year. This is a Gateway City Reptiles line, pastel, yellow belly, azanthic pied. So Gateway City Reptiles, azanthic, and then pastel, yellow belly, and pied. And I just think that her colors came out so nice. I mean, she's basically black and white. You know, there's some gray in her, but not a whole lot. Really came out so clean. I think this snake is gonna look excellent as adults. You know, the, the big thing right now is trying to get snakes that hatch out looking good, but look as good or better as adults. And I really think that having the pastel in this, which really lightens and brightens an azanthic pied and having yellow belly in it is really gonna make a big difference in the long run with this. Okay, so that's it for my first video. I'm gonna to get to work and do a couple more here. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to go to my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com to see what I have available. As you can see, I've got a lot available. So uh, make sure to check that out. Please like and subscribe as well. And also consider joining our Patreon. You get a lot of ex exclusive videos. We're doing a free snake giveaway per week through, I think we're gonna do all the way through 2024 again, just like we did last year. So definitely check that out at patreon.com. Also, you can get a link right on the homepage of my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I'll be back soon.